Hi, welcome to Matt's Garage. Today we're talking some, about some a little random um, welding ground clamps. I'm not an expert, disclaimer out of the way, but I am doing a lot of welding on this 1973 Ford Bronco. And what I'm noticing is that I'll go from having really hot, really buzz, buzz welds to a lot of popping and, and, uh, and spitting. And then when I go adjust my weld, uh, my ground clamp, it improves. So let me show you what's going on and show you the solution. First, uh, what am I welding on here? It's a Hobart um, Iron Man 230. Pretty industrial piece of, of welding kit. I, mean, I say industrial, it's really not having worked on power plants. Industrial welders, um, they're a 100% duty cycle. Uh, this one's 60, which is actually pretty good. Zoom out, sorry. Um, but what's unbelievable is despite it being a pretty high-end welder, it comes with this welding clamp. So, you know, the uh, handles are plasti dipped. It's got a pretty stiff thing, but if you look closely at the, uh, it's just a, a rounded half circle and these teeth and the teeth have just gone down to nothing and I'm just not getting a good positive ground. So what I've done is, now there's there's a Harbor Freight one, and then there's like all copper versions of the Harbor Freight one, which looks like a old industrial uh, 400 amp uh, clamp. And those probably work really great, but, um, sorry, Mrs. Matt's Garage. Oh, I got a preheat the oven, give me a second. Okay, back, sorry about that, it's pizza night. So, what I did was I went and I got this, oh, the Harbor Freight one. So with that one, you have to cut the, see how this comes uh, lugged like a battery terminal? See the lug there that bolts in? To do the Harbor Freight one, you need to cut that and put the wires in, I believe, then you gotta worry about gauge and matchup and all that. I didn't want all that hassle, so I went and picked up a, a Lincoln one. This is a 300 amp, but you can see it's just got a lot more area to, you know, ground, and it's also got this uh, braided cable. Now, I don't know if these are um, solid copper or just plated, I'm, prob I'm sure they're plated. Let me grab a magnet here. I don't think copper is magnetic. Ooh, yeah, so that's got ferrous material on it. Um, so, but that's okay, I mean, it's not meant to last forever. It's just one of those weird wear items you don't really think about. So I'm just gonna swap this out and uh, hopefully it gives me a better weld. Yeah, look, I, I know I know it's dirty, okay? It's a 13 mil. Of course it's 13 mil. Why would it be anything other than a 13 mil? Let me just clean it up a little bit. Uh, let's see if this even fits. I might have to make the hole a little bigger. Doggone it all the blech. Okay, that's all right. Luckily, I've got a wrench. Loud noises. And a hole maker bigger. So it's supposed to be a quick thing. All right. <clears throat> and that looks like a 17. Wow, first try. So that is a nice new ground clamp. Highly recommend looking at this. Even if your welder is new, getting one that's a little better, even if it's not this one, I'm not endorsing this one. I'm just saying, take a look at your ground clamp. I mean, look at the difference between the surface area of these things. It's like night and day. First of all, this is the, this is the thing from inside, right? And so basically the surface area 
When this wears down from all the popping and the spitting from being a terrible welder like I am, when that happens, it ends up just hitting the, the, the bolt, basically. So I'm clamping to the bolt instead of this more conductive material. Plus, this is brass, not copper. So, um, And then the surface area is basically just the addition of all of these little points, right? Whereas with this one, you can see, if I give you a piece of sheet metal, just use a washer, for example, right? You can see there it grabs there, there, and there. Three points of contact. Can't beat it. So, looking forward to welding with this. If uh, it sucks, I'll just take this video down. So if this video's up, assume it helped. <laughs>